MHS held their annual winter ball. We have all the info on who was crowned. Girls basketball makes the final push towards tourney. And we find out who won the first annual Powder Puff Volleyball game. This is MET News. Hello, and welcome to Season 2 of MET News. My name is Chris Kogan. Let's get right to the lead. On Friday, February 1st at 3 p.m., the first ever Powder Puff Volleyball game took place in the gym. Here's Allison Connors with the story. Just a young gun with the quick... The Middleborough High School gym is packed for the first Powder Puff Volleyball game where the boys of each grade get to show off their skills and compete against one another. I got the chance to interview the coaches, players, and rest of this event. I'm feeling great right now, honestly. I'm really energized and, you know, ready to go. So I'm a little nervous, but I'm definitely excited. I think this is fun and new and really fun. I am a little nervous and stressed for my team, but I'm excited because I think that they're working really hard and they see that I love this sport, so they want to love it too. Uh, before the game, we're looking good. We've been warming up and doing a bunch of things. Uh, they're doing really good at hitting. Setting isn't the best, but we're going to get better. In years past, we've done a dodgeball tournament, and it was grade versus grade, and it was a huge success, but over the years, it kind of died down. So we took that idea of the dodgeball tournament and decided to really revamp it this year, and we figured what better time than right after finals to get people back in the spirit of just hanging out and enjoying each other's company at school. Stage wide. I'm feeling like our team is ready to go, uh, put a lot of work into this and uh, we're excited to see how this is going to go. I feel like we got to teach them a lesson, they got to show them what we got. I personally am going to root for the junior team because that's my class, but I'm excited to see what the seniors have to offer. able to teach people my passion because I love volleyball and making sure that people have fun and enjoy it is what I love. The outcome of this event was very successful and the seniors won against the sophomores in the championship game. This is Allison Connors for MET News. On Saturday, February 2nd, the student body of MHS had a fun-filled night at Winter Ball. Riley Griffin and Makovush won Ice Princess and Ice Prince for the freshmen. Jason Noons and Aileen Petty for sophomores, Michael Gavoni and Julie Carrington for juniors, and the Ice King and Queen were Cam Labrie and Abby Wager. Congratulations to everyone from, who won from each grade. Coming up next, MHS SCW presents Thoroughly Modern Millie, but first, MET Sports. The boys varsity basketball team has had an up and down season with a current record of 4-13 as of Friday, February 8th. They started off with a strong 3-2 record but only recorded one more win over the next 12 games. With a promising roster, the team hopes to qualify for tournament in the future seasons. Tourney hopes are still alive for the Lady Sachems basketball team, led by first-year coach Jeff Powers. Let's hear from Eden Eugenio, who caught the Lady Sachems in action at the East Bridgewater game on Tuesday, February 5th. Welcome to MET News. I'm Eden Eugenio, here at the Lady Sachem basketball game, where the Sachems are versing East Bridgewater. Clenching this win would lead to the qualification into the MIAA tournament. Let's hear what the players have to say about their season so far. Jordan Peebles. Mandy Bukunt. My name is Megan Labrie. I'm Sam Crowley. Um, one of the most difficult struggles I think that we had is that we're a very young team, so I feel like we don't know like how far and how good we can play to our like best ability yet, but I think that we're so young that over the couple of span of years we're going to be able to get there. I think that one of the um, biggest struggles we've had this year is making sure that we keep up the energy on defense if we don't have a great run on offense. And I think that we've been doing a really great job at working towards that goal as in the past few games we've been showing energy all the time, always keeping up um, 
the right mindset we need to get the win. I would describe er, the season as fun because everyone's getting along this season and I've had a much better experience than last year. I would use improvement because uh, every day at practice and during games we're constantly getting better and working hard to improve and this year we're trying to improve and reach tournament. I think that the biggest strength I bring to this team is energy and encouragement because um, whether your team is down by 10 or up by 10, you always need someone there to make sure everyone's not getting hard on themselves, not getting hard on each other. I think I bring leadership to this team uh, because I'm a captain and also on the court I have a large presence and I just bring everyone together and try and get everyone to play the best they can. Um, this team is actually very special to me because since sixth grade I've been playing with these girls and I'm still playing with these girls until my senior year and that's just something like it brought me so close with them and either uh, playing other sports with them too. This team is special to me because I'm playing a sport that I love with a lot of my best friends and it's really close to my heart. I would just say that we're, we're so much more athletic than we've been in past years. Um, we can get up and down the floor real quick and we can pressure the ball all over the place. So I think being able to run up and down, that's, that's tough, tough for other teams to keep up with. Unfortunately, the Lady Sachems did not catch the win against EB, but on February 13th, the Lady Sachems defeated Fairhaven to qualify for tournament with a score of 51-33. to This has been the first time qualifying for tourney since 2001. This has been Eden Eugenia for MET News. The MHS indoor track team competed in the South Shore League Championship on Thursday, January 31st at the Reggie Lewis Center. The girls team finished 5th overall in the meet, while the boys team finished 4th overall. Athlete Abby Wager broke the school record in the 2 mile with a time of 12 minutes and 11 seconds, and in the mile with a time of 5 minutes and 32 seconds. Cam Labrie also broke the school record in the 300 meter race at the time of 36.6 seconds. These athletes will be competing in the D4 meet on Sunday, February 17th at the Reggie Lewis Track Center in Boston. Best of luck. The Sachems hockey team is continuing their hard-fought season with a record of six wins, seven losses, and three ties. One of those six wins is against East Bridgewater on January 19th. With great play from Ian Yeskovich and Garrett Donahoe, the Sachems defeated EB 5-1. Eric Grady was there. Let's take a look at some highlights. Oh! With the football season in the books, the Sachems had a chance to celebrate the success from the past season by watching a season-long highlight edited by Kaylee Tobin. Let's take a look. We made this.
The winter cheerleading team went to Whitman Hanson High School and competed in their first invitational competition on Sunday, February 10th. The girls placed second in their division and had their next competition on Saturday, February 16th. Good job and good luck, ladies. The swimming and diving team traveled to UMass Dartmouth on Friday, February 1st to compete against the seven other schools in the South Shore League Championship. The girls finished with a second place win and the boys took home third. Four girls, Christina Chain, Olivia Pascarello, Emily Geddes, and Maddie Navicki qualified for sectionals in the 200 and 400 meter freestyle events. The swimming and diving season continued at the South Sectional Meet on Saturday 9th and Sunday the 10th. Members of the team who earned a qualifying timer score competed at this important meet. Emily Geddes, Olivia Pascarello, and Christina Chain represented Middleborough in the 200 freestyle relay where they swam a 152.49 in the 400 relay where they swam a 413.54. Declan Hastings and Nicole Hart represented Middleborough diving placing 14th and 11th respectively. Nicole Hart scored a 350.2 which shattered the MHS school records. Everyone who competed at the sectionals also qualified for state championship, which will be held in the 16th and 17th. Results of that meet will be in the next episode. This year's wrestling team had an increased success. Here's Gil Arujo with a story. Coming for you, Barney. Uh, our daily schedule involves bringing out the mats, mopping the mats, and then we will warm up bottom, a little bit of light drilling, and Tuesdays and Thursdays we'll do some lifting. Um, well, before practice we usually start by uh, setting up the tables, um, and then after that, once we get all the tables set up and put over to the side, we uh, go to the gym and grab the mats, and we set up the mats. Uh, then we got to mop the mats, and then we're ready to wrestle after that. Uh, it's definitely been a lot more successful. Uh, we've had a lot of guys come out this year uh, as opposed to other years. We've had few guys coming out. Uh, it definitely is keeping me active because normally over the winter I don't do much, but it's definitely keeping me active doing all of this. Being the captain of the team is a lot of responsibility, but you get to learn a lot about yourself and representing the Sachem's pride. This sport has really affected just about everything in my life. Uh, the lessons that I learned from when I was a seventh grader to uh, when I was in college really affected how I deal with a lot of situations in everyday life. It helps me on my work ethic, how I prepare for things, um, how mentally tough I am, how much perseverance I have, and how hard I'm willing to work on specific things that aren't really easy to me. It's helped me become more well-rounded as a human. It's helped me think a lot better. Um, and the lessons that I've learned even as a kid are lessons that I'm still using now um, as a middle-aged man. I think this is definitely a, a great sport. I think anybody could really do it as long as they just want to put the effort in because every single day, but it definitely has a good outcome. I definitely have a positive impact on the team. You know, they're going to be a lot better when it comes time when they're in high school. So. Uh, sectionals will be this Saturday, February 9th uh, in Foxborough High School. Uh, we feel pretty good about it. We've got um, a couple kids that are pretty much on their way to states. The sectionals will just be, you know, another little obstacle on the way. And we have probably about four or five kids that are on the verge of actually making it. Uh, so sectionals should be a good weekend and a pretty good test of what to expect in the future here. Winter gymnastics has begun. As a new winter sport, gymnastics has worked hard to make strides in and out of the gym. With one win under their belt, we can't wait to hear how the last two meets go. Meets are located at the Massachusetts Gymnastics Center in Pembroke if you want to catch a glimpse of their hard work. We can't wait to see all the team accomplishes in the rest of their season, and good luck to them as they continue. On Saturday, February 9th, MASBA held their fifth annual mattress fundraiser in the high school gymnasium. MHS winter athletes were at the event to encourage, sale, and promote our athletic department. Fundraising in this event will go towards the athletics here at MHS. I'm here at MASBA's 5th Annual Mattress Fundraiser, where Middleborough Athletics is hoping to raise money for winter sports here at MHS. Let's check it out. Come in, this uh, company has come in and they purchase like mattresses, as pillows, as all different accessories, and uh, so, like the part of the profits go to the like Middleborough High School Athletics.
custom fundraising solutions. It's a, it's a very unique idea that started in Cleveland, Ohio with one location and we now do this in 90 plus locations, close to 95 locations across the country. Um, we've been in Massachusetts for just over six and a half years, almost seven years now, and we work exclusively with high schools and some churches. And it's uh, uh, we come to the high school and we set up a mattress showroom, and it's an, a, a wonderful idea that's blossomed into giving over $32 million back to, to schools and to students and to programs, just like here. Every student that sells a mattress gets a part of the proceeds and it helps bring money into the athletic program here. It's been another successful day here at MHS and we're excited to see our winter athletes finish out the season strong. For MET News, it's Mia Bennett. On Friday, January 18th, the MHS Music Department held the opening night for their production of the musical, Thoroughly Modern Millie. Matt DeRoches was able to capture some great moments from the show. Let's take a look. Thank you for joining us for our first episode of this semester. Be sure to tune into our next episode on Friday, March 1st, where we will update you on the construction of the new MHS. I'm Chris Kogan. Have a great night.